Staying on that story, Action SA wants assurance from the city of Tswane Mayor Salia Brink that no other residents will uh, be contaminated or get sick from cholera. At least 15 people have lost their lives in the Haman Square outbreak. The party is demanding that Brink should personally oversee the resolution of the ongoing cholera crisis there. Residents have been complaining about water issues in the area for a long time and say government has neglected them. Action SA's Tabang Sebozana joins us on the line. He's the caucus spokesperson. Tabang, thank you so much for your time. Can you really hold the mayor uh, personally liable, but particularly because he's got an executive team that ought to be working with him? Uh, good morning, Cindy, and uh, good morning to the viewers uh, of ENCA. Uh, Cindy, at this point in time, we cannot hold the mayor directly responsible. However, um, we, we are at least uh, holding a suspicion that uh, the, uh, the, the the water not being potable might also be the cause for this scourge that has attacked this uh, particular um, community. You're saying that the water not being portable, um, we were told that these are reporters on the ground, that there had been interventions of making sure that your Jojo tanks um, are there uh, and clean water is being supplied. And you, you seem to say the contrary. Look, uh, Cindy, there have been tests, and uh, I remain on record having said that um, the tests that have been made have uh, come back clear. Uh, showing that there has not been any um, determinable signs of E. coli or cholera in the water. Uh, as at last night, we know that 20 tank water tankers have been tested, and uh, none, of the, none of which have been found uh, to be having any signs of uh, cholera in them. The suspicion, however, that we have is the, because the water is not clean, Cindy, the water is not uh, fit for consumption, it is very smelly, um, therefore, it is still remaining a suspicion until we can have definitive proof that uh, this disease emanates therefrom. And, and Mr. Subutzada, you, 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 you say here that Action SA will be writing to the mayor of Tswane, whom himself only recently delivered his maiden state of the city address. So he's fairly new in the job. And you say he, he needs to take the families of the deceased into confidence and the uh, members of the, um, or rather residents of Tswane, uh, take them into his confidence. What do you mean by that? Certainly, as uh, the head of uh, the municipality, Cindy, you will appreciate that it is uh, his direct responsibility to ensure that he gives comfort to the families of the deceased, first of all. Uh, but also, I think uh, he also holds the responsibility broadly over the city of Tswani to ensure that communities are provided uh, well-deserved and necessary services like the water of Hamanskra, which we know, and unfortunately, we, we know that the mayor has just been in his uh, office uh, for a few weeks, um, and uh, he landed into literally a boiling pot. However, um, you know, in as much as the previous administrations have left this mess for him, it is his responsibility and him bringing the people of Hamansgrad and the city into his confidence means making, uh, you, you know, plans that are going to uh, give the comfort to the people of the city and certainly the people of Hamas Graal, um with the comfort, leaving them with uh, an understanding that this is a mayor who is clearly intent on providing the services that they need and doing so urgently. The matter of the Hamas Graal, uh water uh, is longstanding, as you obviously appreciate, Cindy. And th there can no longer be time for talking over this matter. Uh, this matter requires urgent and decisive decision and implementation uh, of such decisions and, and no longer just... Uh, yeah, and just very lastly, I hate to and, interrupt you. I seem to be losing <clears throat> you from uh, time to time. You seem to have uh, corruption allegations also in the Roival uh, water plant uh, treatment or treatment plant centre that uh, you want to commission as an investigation. Give us a, a brief indication what you intend to do. Look... This is not, uh, uh, you know, something we are assuming. Uh, we we uh, got the mayor, the previous mayor, um, Randall Williams,
to institute a forensic uh, report on behalf of the City Council of Swani uh, in June of last year. And uh, that report has revealed um, some very questionable uh, activities that took place during the appointment of and the running um, uh, of this contract. Um, so definitely there is uh, corruption um, that uh, a lot of or some of um, the people that work within the city are embroiled in, um, which allegations of corruption are currently, as we speak, um, being investigated. Not only um, the investigation has been undertaken uh, internally in the city, but uh, as you might have also seen reports, the SIU is also seized with the similar um, okay, Reyes, Botswana, thank you so much. We're going to have to leave it there. Thank you indeed for taking your time to join us. Tabang Sebotsane, Action SA caucus spokesperson reacting to the situation in Hamaskwa where at least 12 people have lost their lives and they're now calling for uh, the uh, councillor, executive councillor, uh, Celia Brink to take personal responsibility and give a directive as to how they're going to resolve this particular issue.